Also making news, two Chicago men are home tonight, freed from prison by new DNA evidence, showing it is unlikely they committed a 1994 rape and murder on the city's south side. CBS 2's Jim Williams shows us the happy reunions with their families. For Nevis Coleman, after more than two decades in prison, even the joyous embrace of his family is a shock to the system. Still kind of nervous, you know, still trying to get <laughs> adjusted to everything. Everything, little and big. Grab a bag of chips without how to go to the commissary. And hugging his granddaughter in his cousin's living room. I'm all good. New DNA evidence indicates Coleman, once a member of the White Sox ground crew, did not rape and kill a 20-year-old woman in 1994. Too much time has been taken away from me. The other man convicted of the murder, Daryl Fulton, was released too. Being locked up for almost 24 years is it's a horrifying experience, man, not knowing if you're going to make it out. Coleman said during his interrogation he was beaten by police. I've been there almost, what, four or five hours getting beat up. I ain't couldn't go through that no more. I gave him the story. The story, a confession, coerced, he said. I thought this day would never come. His family is stunned. Coleman is not bitter. I'm awed by how you came out of jail and was like, I don't have nothing bad to say about anybody. I just wow. want to move forward. And that's, that's deep to me. Both Coleman and Fulton say one thing kept them going in prison. And you have to continuously tell yourself you have to keep fighting. You never lost hope. No. I always knew something going to come up. Cook County Judge Dennis Porter vacated the convictions on Friday. After prosecutors get full DNA tests, they'll decide whether to pursue a new trial. For now, Rob and Erica, Nevis Coleman and Daryl Fulton are look for, looking forward to their first Thanksgiving at home since the mid-1990s. Oh, it's been a long time. Do they have yeah. any other suspects in mind for this rape and nope. murder? Nobody's been convicted, nobody else anyway. Mm. And we don't know where that person might be. And to not hold the anger, that was one of the most impressive things I, that we saw in that story. So upbeat, so cheerful. Hard wow. to believe, isn't it? Hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jim.